And, on the tenth day, Satan, who was jealous of all of God's glorious gifts to our beloved planet, made cats. He needed to make a creature which seemed to be a companion much like dogs, yet right when they got close they would make people feel rejected. Satan said he needed a creature which was infinite in all of its kinds, but acted exactly the same as all of its kin, no matter how much humans messed around with their genes. Satan said he needed somebody who would ask you to pet their belly, then scratch the crap out of you with razor-sharp claws or a scratchy tongue to rub against you just to get you all hairy, to eat your Christmas tree tinsel and then poop it halfway out, or to just sit at the base of your bed while you sleep, staring at you with some hidden malintent. So he made cats. He needed a creature that would walk along fences and taunt your dogs, then get caught and act like they are the victim, a creature which would ask endlessly for one thing, then ignore it when it got what it wanted. It had to be a creature that loved to torture innocent animals and then bring them to you as if to present a gift, but in actuality it was simply a death threat. A creature who could climb anything, yet somehow get stuck in trees, have pupils like a demon, sleep, then wake up, then sleep again, then wake up, then sleep again, then wake up at three in the morning and run up and down whatever was above where you sleep. Satan made the cat that you let live in your house, but when you were not looking, peas in the most caustic-smelling, ammonia-rich urine known to the universe, in places you will never find it. Not only will they gleefully do so, but will do so in a manner which fits their nefarious design. For when they pee, they do so in a wide arc spray which maximizes area and minimizes the possibility of cleanup. So Satan made the cat. With its barbed penis and death-curdling mating sounds, with its propensity to cough up nasty, wet, and sticky carcasses of the death threats they had gotten patient bringing to you. A creature who could bring a family together, then walk out of the room like it could care less, right after it scratched your baby and transferred toxoplasmosis to it from walking in its own feces, perhaps on purpose, coating its deadly razor-sharp claws in the poison. It had to be a creature which kept you guessing as to whether it liked you, or was even happy, a creature that's characteristics systematically prohibited it from being in service to humanity in any way whatsoever. So Satan created a cat. It won't jump, sit, get in the car, and go for rides, shake, roll over, go for walks, eat, cuddle, or even move when you ask it to, but will do all of these things when it sees fit and when the time is most inconvenient for all other parties involved. Thus the cat was created, from all the leftover hate and indifference, ego and moodiness, bravado and mistrust that God had not used. And in the end, Satan saved the purest of these leftover qualities to make his greatest creation of all, those who love cats.